In this Throne and Liberty video, I bring you a complete guide on the level 50 dungeon of Death's Abyss with a full guide on how to defeat Carnix with all his boss mechanics and everything you need to know. This is a dungeon where you can indeed run past most their enemies, which makes for speedrunning this dungeon for materials probably the best option out of all the level 50 dungeons. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent. To win it really is as simple as this. Hit that like button on this video, leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick winners from the comments section and announce them on my video tomorrow. So good luck everybody. Okay, so let's get into it guys, and as always with these level 50 dungeons, the end game dungeons here, although not 100% necessary, a tank and a healer are extremely helpful. So as you start this dungeon guys, directly in front of you is a room full of enemies. Now for the most part you can run past these. Now within this dungeon, besides the actual mini bosses and the bosses, your biggest threat is the enchanted Archeum Arbiter. This is an enemy that has a move that can wipe the team. I mean tanky players may be able to sponge this, but most won't. It's a move you can stun this enemy out of, so when you hear that notification of, the audio notification of, I'll kill you all, you need to crowd control this dude ASAP. So stuns, petrifications, knockdowns, etc, etc. But yeah, stunning them knocks them out of this move so you can lay down even more damage and take these guys out. Now the one in the first room you can avoid. Wait until he's walking away uh, as he does so along the middle of the room and then guys enter the room and stick to the wall on your left. Now a couple of enemies here may clock you but you shouldn't have an issue with these lesser adds so take them out. After you've taken out the enemies guys in your way, exit the room via the far door on the left hand side. Around this corner will be another three enemies uh, that you do have to fight. The one again is another enchanted Archim Arbiter who again stun him to take him out of his main attack. Now there's also two other enemies behind him at the top of the steps. One is a healer and if you fight the Arbiter close enough to the healer, the healer will do his job and keep recovering his health. So if you can take out the healer too or pull the arbiter away from the healer, either or guys do what you gotta do but take these enemies down. Now this next room has two of the enchanted Archim Arbiters within it who will most likely attack you at the same time because they walk the same route and you can't avoid them. Here you want to fight them as close to the door as you enter this room because again there is another healer behind them who will just make things more difficult. Once the enchanted Archim Arbiters are down, take out the other two enemies. So the room after the campfire is another room where most enemies here can be avoided. Again sticking to the left hand side of the room just run along the wall and then exit the room at the far left hand side. If you all group up on the left hand corner of the room you just entered, you should be good. Now here guys is where you take out the first mini boss of this dungeon. But before you do that guys, you'll probably notice that there are a lot of enemies within this room. Again, most of these can be avoided. What you want to do guys is you want to group up at the front of this room at the very very centre. You'll see that there is an enchanted Archim Arbiter right by the boss and enemies on the left hand side and right hand side of the room. The enemies on the left and right hand side of the rooms can be avoided. The Arbiter does do like a little stroll back and forth near the boss. So there's a good chance guys, although you can avoid all the enemies on the left and the right, the Arbiter is going to get involved if you want to avoid all these enemies upon you just running straight to the boss. 
So there's a good chance here guys that you're going to be fighting all these enemies in this room one at a time which is probably your best bet if you ain't planning on speed running this and then draw the Arbiter away from the boss and take him out then or if you want to do like we were doing it and we're speed running this guys we run straight towards the boss uh, it isn't too difficult I'm not going to lie to you yeah, especially when you know their mechanics the Arbiter's mechanics we've spoke about again when he does that move or you hear that audio cue of I'll kill you all he needs to be stunned out of this but if you manage to avoid him when you're running towards the boss of the Shadow Monster, you are good to just ignore the Archeum and then just concentrate on the boss, the mini boss of the Shadow Monster. Now she does have a move which can wipe you. Um, so when you hear her say, I'll end your life, she casts a spell which can wipe players. Here guys, again, you need to crowd control her out of this. So use stuns, petrifications, knockdowns, etc, etc. So you are good there now after taking it out of the bus uh, if the arbiter didn't get involved you now need to exit the room the way you entered it simple as that Okay, so your next objective now, guys, is to defeat the Riot Squad Captain. This is the second and final mini boss of this dungeon, but he's locked behind two gates. One in two different rooms, which you need to open. So as you enter this section, guys, you can go either left or right here. Now, what I will say is most enemies within these rooms can be completely avoided, but there is an arbiter in both. So this is what you want to do. So as a team, you want to concentrate on one side at a time, left or right, it doesn't matter. Where players run together left or right, and just at the entrance of these rooms, you'll notice there is an Archim uh, soldier here, uh, and behind him is another Arbiter. Now, if the Arbiter does walk around this room, as he walks to the left-hand side and walks to the far end, one player can run past the um, Archim soldier and pull the lever, while the other players take out the Archim soldier. Now, if other enemies are triggered and they run towards the door, that's completely fine as a team take them out. And again, if the Arbiter gets involved, you know his mechanics, stun him out of his main attack and you are good here. But once that lever is pulled, you can run backwards and run back on yourself to that other room on the other side and more or less do the exact same thing in here. What we were doing, as you're seeing on the screen now, guys, is um, we all stand at the sort of front of the room. We went into the Arbiter to walk around on one side. Uh, one guy pulled the lever then we ran straight into the gate behind us where this mini boss fight happens with the riot squad captain now in this room with the riot squad captain there are a couple more enemies one being a wizard and the other being a arbiter now you want to take these both out especially the arbiter because he does walk a circle around this room and he walks past the boss so if you're all just concentrating on the boss um, he will get involved in either or so you may as well just take him out first then do the wizard if you want to and then just fight the boss so once they are down you're now on to fighting the riot squad captain now, a few things you need to know about this boss, there is two main mechanics. These are where he pulls up a blue shield, deal enough damage to the shields, and they basically drop, they break, simple as that. He also will shout, die. This is an audio cue for a crazy AOE attack. Now you need to interrupt the boss when he's doing this with a hard crowd control attack, preventing him from doing a significantly powerful AOE damage attack. Now this is a difficult move to crowd control and here's what you can do if you are struggling and he keeps wiping you. So when he shouts die, the attack is coming. This attack will mostly wipe the team if not crowd controlled. But it's also an attack which has a limited range, meaning you can kind of get away from it. But if you get too far away from this boss, especially as a whole team, his health will start to regen. So what I suggest is when he shouts die, that audio cue, when you know this attack is coming, one person at a time takes the hit while the others run to the back of the room. If that person who took the hit dies, the rest of the team instantly runs back to the boss so his health doesn't regen. Do this in cycles if needs be, rotating players to take that hit until you take this boss out. And then guys, you shouldn't have much of a problem here, especially if you can't crowd control his main attack. Okay, so next up is the main boss of the dungeon. Carnix. And while well, to be honest, once you understand his mechanics, the boss is actually straightforward. 
So as you start the fight guys, you can lay down damage for about 5 or 10 seconds here before his first main attack happens. When his first main attack is about to happen, he says, chase them to the end of the abyss. Chase them to the end of the abyss. What he does here guys is he spawns in 3 or 4 scythes and they chase certain players around this room. Here you just want to run uh, try to avoid other players too. Also be careful as a boss will teleport around the room slamming his scythe into the floor hurling players up into the air which can be devastating especially in this instance. So as you run from the scythes you always want to rotate back into the middle or near the centre of this room. Because as this phase ends people, he will basically spawn in a black ring around a certain player. Now it's very very important whoever the player is with this black ring around them needs to make sure everyone knows where they are. I here recommend the person with the black ring runs to the centre of the room so everybody running away from those sides can see them and you all need to gather up in that black circle it's as simple as that so run to the center if you have the black circle around you uh, so everyone else can see you and they need to run and stand in that black ring with you it's a shared damage instance so the more people in that black ring the less damage overall to each individual player so keep that in mind if you don't get in the ring he's probably gonna wipe you so yeah everyone gather up in that black ring in the center of the room to make things easier now as you are standing in this black ring make sure you are facing the boss as he will now do a quick swipe attack which you can block and dodge uh, but it's a much much quicker window to do so so you need to be aware of it uh, so yeah now it always hits me because I'm just too old and too slow to dodge out of it I mean I've done it probably like five out of ten times but luckily it doesn't seem to one hit you it only takes like a couple of thousand health off you so you should be good either way if you don't dodge this so after this guys you're now free to lay down more damage on the boss. Now the boss's next attack is a massive AOE attack which can be easily dodged or blocked. Thankfully the dodging blocking window on this one is as normal so it's much much easier to actually counter. So yeah, but keep your eyes on the boss because it's definitely coming after this instance. And well guys to be honest that's literally it. The boss will then rotate back around to that first attack with all scythes, then that black ring etc etc. Just do what we just spoke about, do that in this cycle and you'll get him down eventually. Now he will do sometimes a couple of close quarters attacks to those tanks uh, but these are blockable and shouldn't be one hitting anybody who's trying to tank it anyway. So he should be good there. But there we have it guys, Karnix is actually one of the easier bosses in the game, the dungeon itself is actually quite easy, it's probably the best speedrunning dungeon in the game like I said, so do what you gotta do people. And there we have it guys, if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe, and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.